little screen drying rack, no problem. I'm gonna show you how to properly coat and dry your screens at home without a screen drying rack. We are gonna make this rack and we're just going to use uh, a two by four, cut it up into two inch pieces. And I'm just putting, this, putting them on the floor and arranging my screen right up under it. You just want it to go to the edge of the screen. Um, you don't want it to touch the mesh. And so I'm just situating this to where I have the four uh, blocks under the screen. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna move it out a little bit because it was touching the mesh there. Now we've got our size and we're gonna raise that up and we're going to put a pre-coated screen on there just to test this thing out and I'm laying the screen with the inkwell side facing me and the substrate side facing down and we're gonna grab four more of those blocks that we cut up and just place those gently around the screen um, let's go ahead and coat our first screen tilting the screen over to my right and using firm pressure I'm just going to come straight up on that screen and flip it over. I'm going to push the screen into the mesh, making sure that the emulsion goes all the way to the mesh. And then I come straight up and do a little tilt and let the extra emulsion fall back into the scoop coater. This is easy breezy. We're just going to continue to repeat this process and lay the screen down and again we're going to coat the screen if you are wanting to learn how to coat your screens i will link a video up above in the description just click that link for a more detailed video on how to coat your screens uh, screen coating process is one of the most important steps when you are creating screens for screen printing it all starts with your screens guys and if your screen is not coated properly you are going to have issues on press um, it there's just no other way around it there are a lot of different methods to get a stencil on a screen but this is going to be your most efficient method and this is going to give you a nice thick stencil where you're going to be able to output detailed artwork. Uh, when you create screens with vinyl, you're not able to uh, do halftone printing or produce high quality artwork. After you're done, we're just gonna turn off the lights and let those dry. You do want to make sure that you are drying those screens in the dark and that there's not a lot of humidity in the room. If you are interested in learning how to screen print, I offer screen printing classes in Dallas, Texas and also online so I can train you from anywhere. Just make sure that you click the link up above for more information and I hope to see you soon in one of our screen printing classes. I'll see y'all in the next video.